In this podcast, I'm going to talk about some consumer theory. I'm going to talk about budget lines and indifference curves. In this case, the blue line represents a budget line, and I'm going to discuss how prices impact the budget line. When prices rise of gasoline, in this case, we see that less can be consumed, so the budget line shifts inward. On the other hand, when prices go down, we see the budget line shifting outwards and the person can pur purchase more gasoline. In this slide, I'm going to talk about the impact of income on a budget line. Remember, the blue line is the budget line. As income goes up, the budget line shifts outward. And as income goes down, the budget line shifts inward. Now, here's an indifference curve, and it shows how a person's willing to trade tomatoes for asparagus. As a person moves from 100 to 50, down the, the, the indifference curve, they're willing to give up 50 tomatoes for five asparagus. The reason they're willing to do this is because they have a large quantity of tomatoes. Now, as they move downward, they're willing to give up 25 tomatoes for 15 asparagus because they have less tomatoes, so they need more asparagus in return. Until eventually, when they're running low on tomatoes, they have to get back a lot of asparagus to trade any more tomatoes. Again, this represents how people will trade two items, in this case, tomatoes and asparagus. Here are two different indifference curves one represents the trade of tomatoes and asparagus, and one represents the trade between tomatoes and Brussels sprouts. The little round things are Brussels sprouts. Clearly, it should be obvious that the person prefers asparagus to Brussels sprouts, because if you go down the indifference curve, which is kind of a tan color, you'll see that they're willing to continue to trade tomatoes for asparagus along the way. But the Brussels sprout one, they're not willing to trade any more tomatoes at some point in time um, for any more Brussels sprouts. In this case, it's perfect substitutes. The consumer sees kidney beans and cannoli beans as perfect substitutes. In this case, we're talking about cake and ice cream. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, consumers want to give up one piece. They have one piece for three scoops of ice cream. That means they're always going to consume it in that ratio. In this case, there's no substitution. The person just eats cake and is not interested in any ice cream. Now, here's, here's a, another indifference curve. And what this represents is risk and safety. In this case, with a flat indifference curve, we see that this is a risk chooser. So if we look at a return of 8% and a return of 9%, this demonstrates that a person's w willing to give up a large degree of safety for a small return of 1%. And if we line those up, you can see it's more obvious. Now in this case, the person this is, represents a safety chooser. They're not willing to give up much safety for the same 1% return. So in this case, a indifference curve that's more up and down represents a safety chooser. And a difference curve that's up and down like this one represents a person who prefers gasoline over all other goods. Prefer may not be the best word. It may be they may be stuck in that situation, but they were willing to trade less gasoline. On the other hand, a curve that's more flat means that they prefer the things, all other goods, or the item on the y-axis.